Hello my brothers and sisters, again uh, we're going to have a time of intercession and prayer. Um, just wanted to thank you first uh, for attending and coming live. I appreciate that. Not a great deal of uh, people there, but uh, we will have a replay of this after the live session is finished. I'll put it on uh, on both channels, on my wife's uh, YouTube channel and my own YouTube channel. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my own uh, ministry or our own ministry uh, YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that because we're trying to build that up and um, eventually we want to migrate everything there so we can separate our own YouTube channel so it's not mixed up. You know, it, at, at the moment it's like a bazaar. Uh, we've got everything on this YouTube channel. Uh, so I want to start this session with a bit of reading from the scripture. Uh, I will start with Revelation chapter 5 uh, verses 8 to 10. When he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they were holding golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. Those are you. And they sang a new song. Worthy are you to take the scroll and open its seals because you were slain and by your blood you purchased for God those from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made them to be kingdom. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God and they will reign upon the earth. We have been made to be kings and priests. We now don't need a high priest who would go and intercede for us where we weren't allowed to even mention the name of God and he would have to do that. Now our high priest is Jesus Christ and we can directly access our father and call him Abba, Daddy. And through the blood of Jesus Christ, through his name, worship him and call him. We are kings and priests on earth ourselves and he is the king of kings. He is our king. He is the king of kings because he has kings under him and we are his kings. We don't have worldly palaces. We're not those kind of kings with palaces and servants and, and all those kind of things that probably you and I don't even know about but uh, in his eyes we are his kings on earth and he is our king of kings he is the king of kings and lord of lords so you in your place you're your king the king of your area, the queen of your circle, the priest in your domain, and I am in mine, in my own little domain. I haven't uh, got a big gathering, I don't have uh, many followers, I, I don't care about that, and I do my part. Let those who have ears hear. Let those who have eyes see. I do my part. There are 
as we said before, things, great things happening in the world. Um, in this session, I'm particularly going to pray uh, for this country, United Kingdom, or some of you know it as England. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, and I, 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 if you're not here, uh, which is fine, and you don't know much about this country, I would like to just tell you that it's not out of uh, pride or arrogance, it's just that um, you need to be aware that this country is not nothing to do with the people of this country, it's the politics and politicians. Um, and what they've done in the past since you know a long time ago this country has been um, manipulating and ruling the world really it's only got um, 50 odd countries under the name of Commonwealth countries as, as colonies really 21st centuries colonies name changed to Commonwealth you know. it's called Commonwealth because the wealth of all those countries are common for the common cause and that is one person for one person or one family we don't want to talk about those uh, I'm not a politician but whatever is revealed to me is revealed by the Spirit the Spirit of God I would like to read this passage of scripture also from Genesis chapter 18. I start from verse 23 and, and, and see where we end. This is where Abraham has had a visitation um, by the Lord and he offers to the Lord uh, drink and sacrifice and um, bread and all that with the help of his wife Sarah and the Lord promises that his wife will have a son um, that time next year and Sarah laughs uh, in herself quietly but the Lord knows that and, and he says why your, la your, your wife laughed and of course his wife denies that and the Lord knows that and, and because she was afraid <clears throat> so she denies it and says well, I, didn't, I didn't laugh but the Lord says, no, you did laugh. And the Lord says, because he knows what she's thinking, the Lord says, is anything too difficult for the Lord? Now, that is the point I want to raise here right now. I want to say, you have to have that mentality that is there anything too big for the Lord is there anything that is too difficult for the Lord to do we are in a difficult situation all of us all around the world they've, they've, they've literally made the world a common thing common place this is not much much of a difference between this country or that country uh, no matter where you are we all almost the same in the same situation we're all in the same boat and that's exactly what they want to do um, but is anything too difficult for the Lord let me read on from verse 23 Abraham stepped forward now this is when uh, the Lord shares with Abraham that he is going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah 
you know, I, I think about this a lot mm -hmm. because whenever we go to town on the beach or wherever, you know, with the family and, you know, with my wife, I always say, not always, uh, sometimes it just, you know, comes to me and I just think, uh, are, we, are we much better than Sodom and Gomorrah or people of Sodom and Gomorrah? You know, those people, uh, because of their sins and because of their actions, the outcry mm -hmm. of people went against them so much that it reached God and God came down to basically see um, their actions fully justify the, the outcry that has reached him and he wants to actually see, see it for himself uh, and I say you know I, I'm a bit of a Daniel you know I, I, I just think when I look at people the way they're dressed, the way they behave, the way they put the makeup on, the way they're um, treating each other, the way mm, that the whole society has been demoralized, there is no morality in the world uh, uh, anymore, and we're not the same as um, people were, you know, even let's say 40 years ago, 50 years ago. And, and even worse when you go back you know when you watch all these old movies and and that's not a long time ago you just think all that is gone out the window and, and you know new generation don't even understand those kind of movies everybody's got two or three mobiles they are turned into zombies and they don't even know it yeah it's just it just hurts me and I just think, you know, God come down and punish, bring down your punishment. But here we are reading a passage of scripture that Abraham actually intercedes with God so that he would not destroy the land. And a, anyway, let, let me read this. Abraham stepped forward and said, Will you really sweep away the righteous with the wicked? What if there are 50 righteous ones in the city? 50. He knew there weren't more than 50. Because if there were, he would have started from 100 maybe. And that is the kind of feeling I have when I go places. Just think, are there? Are there any? Will you really sweep it away and not spare the place for the sake of the 50 righteous ones who are there? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to kill the righteous with the wicked, so that the righteous and the wicked was treated alike far be it from you will not the judge of all the earth do what is right he is basically provoking God into some sort of forgiveness and mercy so the Lord replied if I find 50 righteous ones within the city of Sodom on their accounts on their account I will spare the whole place then Abraham now is got the backing he is now more courageous he just thinks okay so we've got it there but maybe the, <laughs> there isn't any maybe there isn't 50 people so he keeps going down now he's bartering with God then Abraham answered, Now that I have ventured to speak to the Lord, though I am but dust and ashes, just like me, I am but dust and ashes. Suppose the fifty righteous ones lack five, 
Will you destroy the whole city for the lack of five? He replied, if I find 45 there, I will not destroy it. Once again, Abraham spoke to the Lord, suppose 40 are found there. Suppose 40 are found there. So he's now saying, maybe it's not 50, maybe it's not 45, maybe it's 50, 40. He answered, on account of the 40, I will not do it. Then Abraham said, may the Lord not be angry, but let me speak further. Suppose 30 are found there. He replied, if I find 30 there, I will not do it. So it comes down from 50 to 30 and God still says if I find 30 righteous people there I won't destroy the land and Abraham said now that I have ventured to speak to the Lord suppose 20 are found there he answered on account of the 20 I will not destroy it finally Abraham said may the Lord not be angry but let me speak once more suppose 10 are found there and he answered on account of the 10 I will not destroy it and when he finished speaking with Abraham he departed and Abraham returned home so the Lord promised if there were 30 he wouldn't destroy it if there were 20 he wouldn't destroy it he came down to 10 and Abraham didn't go further down because to himself probably he was thinking there will be 10 he had that confidence probably in himself thinking there will be at least 10 people righteous that would cause the Lord to spare the city but of course we know that Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed and God destroyed them and, and, and there wasn't you know, 10 righteous people are there 10 righteous people in your country that God can spare from his wrath we are at a time in this country that there are two candidates running for leadership Tory leadership who would be the next Prime Minister in autumn probably and um, when you look at them and you look at their background and, and, <laughs> and you can't listen to the news because news is always upside down you know everything they say about a person is always backward you know if they're saying somebody's bad they're, they're probably good uh, if they say somebody is really good they praise them you have to you know think twice about it because they're probably bad and so you can't you have to rule that out you know making a decision on the basis of what the media says to you uh, but uh, in my own um, career wherever I worked I discovered this one that the the elite this is part of the elites agenda and this is Satan's agenda really because uh, Satan is good at mimicking God and he can do anything that God does and anything that God does apart from one thing he, he can mimic even miracles he can do miracles like like Moses and all the magicians that did, did, did the same as whatever Moses was doing but Satan can't do one thing he can't love there is no love in Satan he can do miracles there'll be even healings but it'll be at a cost usually uh, at a cost there is no love 
that's just an example but just bear that in mind because anything anyone anytime you want to test whether they're out of love it is out of love or uh, there is some sort of demonic forces behind it and you have to bear that in mind however one of the things that I figured that they have in their pot in their agenda is to turn the world upside down I now I say this with a little bit of caution because I know people will probably straight away tag me as sexist and this is and that is you know there is a lot of ists these days and uh, you, you, you have a lot of red lines to to just limit yourself to talk about anything um, I am not anything ist so <laughs> So don't, don't try to tag anything on me. But I know this, that Satan's agenda is to put women in charge of all the big places, even countries. Because that is opposite to what the Lord uh, has commanded and has created to be. God created Adam and Eve and the way he has set in stone the principles of life. Man is the head of the family or is supposed to be. Now if you find the family and man is not the head of the family, you'll see some sort of uh, chaos, disorder, disarray. Uh, it's not right, it's not functioning right. There is something wrong because the foundation is wrong. It's the same principle uh, that should apply to all firms, companies. I'm not saying there shouldn't be any women managers or uh, CEOs. I'm not suggesting that. But when you go around and work in different, I, I've worked at a, a, quite a few colleges around this country and one thing I noticed majority of them the CEO the top top manager of that place was a woman only one of one or two maybe men so they're turning the things upside down. they're turning it the other way around and in the families they're doing the same thing they're giving all the powers to women um, equal and equality, equal opportunities is good, but when it turns to the other way, then it's not good. You know, somebody said some are more equal than the others. Yeah, it, it can't be if, if there is equality, then it has to be equality, not some more equal than the others. Uh, so bear that in mind. Uh, we're going to pray now uh, for the right person to be elected. For this country to be the prime minister or the next prime minister of this country uh, as I said previously in my previous video there isn't any good so don't hold your breath for a Jesus like person to lead any of these leading countries um, because they won't even allow those kind of people to be in a place to put themselves forward and they won't let them and we know the ruler of this earth is Satan and all these earthly kings and, and rulers they're under the domain of Satan but there are some with their own uh, rather personal agenda than uh, the, the elite agenda and there are more maybe we are hoping basically, basically for the people who are more nationalist so after they've done what they want for themselves they think about the people of their own country as well at least and and their country somebody um, sent me a message um, 
thought I might mention this as well and then uh, sent me a message today and they said this message is time sensitive and um, you know they talked very highly of me thank you very much and um, her profile name was named titled Jane you know uh, for the words that you've said in your comments and your message um, but uh, I, I, I don't consider myself um, to be anywhere near uh, to be able to untie the sandals of those people that you mentioned I, I, I'm, I'm only a little humble servant of the Lord and I do what I can uh, however I will do what you want me to do I will pray and intercede right here today and and we keep doing that throughout our daily life but um, no I'm not uh, any special person I'm not a big prophet or anything I do have a message of prophecy every now and then but um, I don't have a big crowd of people um, however I will do what you suggest as to uh, pray for this country um, but as far as leading the nation and you know the, the body of Christ at least in this country I'm not worthy to untie the sandals of those uh, you mentioned um, in the body of Christ I have a very low very very small position as, as you can get gathered from my ministry site and, and this YouTube channel uh, but I do my best and and I still do the prayer that you requested. Let's get into the uh, prayer and intercession. Um, Heavenly Father, we come before your throne again and we ask of you to forgive our sins, wash us with the blood of Jesus Christ, cleanse us of all our sins known to us and unknown to us those that we have confessed and those that we don't know even to confess the unconfessed sins that we've we've committed forgive us wash us with the blood of Jesus Christ wash this nation O oh Lord which has taken the word to the wrong way Wash this nation and the government of this nation. Cleanse them. Have mercy on us, O Lord. If there is even ten righteous people, O Lord, spare this country from your wrath, from your anger. Spare us. Let us have our freedom again. Let us have peace again. Let us have security. Through you, and by you not by the people of this world not by the rulers of this world because everything they give is at a cost it comes at a cost to people the two candidates that are running for Tory leadership in this country oh Lord you know them you know their hearts you know their agendas you know their background uh, we don't know them let the right person will bring about your justice to this country and to the world will bring about um, godly um, rules and order come to power and become the next prime minister and stop their evil agendas oh lord anyone with evil agenda anyone with evil intentions in this country whether at a high pl at the highest places in the government or the lowest places in the government stop them from moving forward let them be exposed that all the evil that is being done in the government and by the rulers by the ministers uh, of this country be exposed and revealed to the people 
let them not achieve any of the evil that they have uh, on their agenda Heavenly Father we pray for the peace of the world and we pray that you may intercede and bring about your justice Heavenly Father we ask of you that you bring justice to this country for the nation for the good of this nation for the good of these people these people have done your will in the past and they've gone away from you now they've been away for a long time they've emptied the churches churches have turned into um, den of lions and they're not places of worship anymore it's a place of thieves robbers and tricksters prudent people who just want to take advantage of people and their possessions of course not all of them there are some good churches around in this country we're talking about the majority oh Lord you know the hearts of those people those churches let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven Heavenly Father hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom and, and power and authority forever and ever thank you for everything you've given us thank you for every blessing you've given us for our health for our homes for our um, for, the, for all the blessings you've given us every single blessing that you've lavished on us thank you o Lord bless us give us wisdom knowledge and empower us to multiply the blessings you've given us and not to lose a single blessing you've given us but to multiply them thank you Lord thank you for these people who have joined us right now whoever is praying with me oh Lord be with them be with them and meet their needs somebody right now crying on their knees oh Lord be with that woman right now oh Lord meet her needs you know the needs uh, of her and you know her heart you know what she's been crying for I ask you that you meet her needs put a hedge of protection around her and cover her with the blood of Jesus Christ and all her household in Jesus name heal her heal her bones and joints and marrows soul flesh and mind and refresh her refresh her and fill her afresh again with your Holy Spirit, O oh Lord. Give her wisdom in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you again for joining us. Um, as I said, this video will be replayed uh, on a loop. And so people who haven't managed to join us at this time can catch up and, and see us again once again we are running these live sessions on Saturdays and Tuesdays at about 4 I just say about because sometimes we have technical issues you know sometimes we have to do things and it might not be exactly 4 but we are aiming to be at 4 p.m. London time 
Uh, you can calculate your own local time according to that. So it's Saturdays and Tuesdays, 4 p.m. London time to go live and pray and do intercession and, and you know, exhortation, a bit of uh, scripture reading and uh, whatever prophecy that might come to me at that moment like I just did and uh, I hadn't planned that uh, whatever comes to my mind and to my spirit I'll do that at that moment um, so nothing is set in stone nothing is planned we just go by the leading of the Holy Spirit uh, there will be other videos in between uh, those days every now and then and those are different messages various messages whatever God lays on my heart uh, at the time so until next Saturday God bless you and see you again goodbye